guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with my June favorites. I cannot believe that it is time to film my June favorites. It feels like it's been a long time since I've actually filmed a favorites video, which I guess it has been because I did take quite a long break from YouTube. But this month I wanted to get a favorites video up for you guys, so I am just going to jump right into it. The first thing I want to share with you guys is this Real Techniques sponge. It has definitely been used. It's a little gross looking right now. I probably should have washed it before I showed it on camera, but that's okay. Um, keeping it real here. But yeah, so I have been loving this Real Techniques face sponge. Um, this is what I use for foundation. I just, yeah, I love it. It's definitely very comparable to the Beauty Blender, but I have to say I kind of like this a lot more than the Beauty Blender because it has this flat side, which really comes in handy when applying foundation around the nose, just to really get around the nostril and stuff. And also this is a great side for under the eye when applying concealer or foundation too. Lately for concealer, I've been reaching for the Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio and I have this in the shade Fair. This is like such a great concealer, you guys. It is a full coverage concealer, which is great for covering blemishes, under eye circles, which I have really bad under eye circles. So yeah, this is really great for covering the under eye circles. I like to use this a lot whenever I have applied my foundation and then I will go back in and use this to clean up any under eye, like eyeshadow fallout or anything and just use it to brighten up the under eye area, also brighten up the chin, the nose, and the center of the forehead. For eyebrows, I've been loving using this e.l.f. brow pencil, and I have this in the shade Neutral Brown. It's just your basic brow pencil. It has the brow spoolie, and then it also has, of course, the brow product, which is like this. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but... Um, yeah, I really like this. I wanted to find a really good, cheap drugstore brow product, and this is what I started using, and I really like it. It's super easy to use. Um, I like the pencil. It's a very thin pencil, which I do kind of like. It's a pretty creamy brow product, so it really just, like, glides right through the eyebrow. And, yeah, I really like it. I like that it does stay in the brows really well, and it's great for filling in the brows, like what it's supposed to do. Um, so yeah, I really, really like it. For mascara, I've been using this Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I really like this. It definitely um, adds a lot of volume to the lashes. It adds a lot of length. Um, I really, really like this mascara. It doesn't flake, which I love. Um, it's also seemed to really hold up in the warmer weather. I haven't had any smearing or anything like that. The mascara wand itself is really nice because this really allows me to coat every single eyelash, which I like. I don't like to feel like I'm just coating the middle lashes. I want to make sure I'm coating those outer corner lashes and the inner corner lashes as well. So yeah, I really like this mascara and it's like a drugstore. I love drugstore mascaras. Next, I have a couple of cleanser favorites, skincare favorites that I want to share with you guys. These are both from St. Ives. The first one is the Even and Bright, which is a pink, lemon, and mandarin orange scrub. This one is great for scrubbing away imperfections. It leaves your skin nice and glowy and smooth and just gets rid of those little imperfections or anything like that. I've also been using this scrub as a body scrub, so I've used it to exfoliate my skin before I self-tan or before I go outside and get a tan. So yeah, this helps polish away anything on your skin. It will leave your skin brighter and also evenly toned, which is really nice. Um, and as for like exfoliation, it's definitely not too abrasive. It's about moderate, um, which is great. I don't like a too heavy exfoliating product. And the next one is the Blackhead Clearing Scrub. This is the green tea. This one clears blackheads and calms redness. Now it's not just blackheads, it just really deep cleans into the pores, really gets out any dirt, oil, anything you may have clogging your pores. It also has salicylic acid in it, which is an acne treatment, so it's great if you have any blemishes or anything like that. Um, and when it comes to the abrasiveness, this one is also moderate, so it's not too crazy. Next I have a couple of hair products that I want to mention to you guys. These are both from the brand Eva. Either Eva, Ava, Eva, NYC, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I actually got this as a free sample from my Pinch Me box. 
So I was really excited to give this a try. And the first one I have is the Freshen Up Dry Shampoo. Now, as somebody who has dark hair, it's very hard to find a dry shampoo that actually like works for me because I don't like to have ones that leave a lot of residue because then I have like these like white streaks in my hair and I just I don't like that. So I was really excited to try this one out and really impressed because this one does not leave that residue or anything like that. But I really like this dry shampoo. It definitely adds a lot of volume into the hair. Um, it really like just gives it some texture and really just brings it back to life after, you know, going a couple days without washing and just needing to revive the hair. It also smells really good. The next one is the Forget Me Not Dry Conditioner. Now, I had actually never heard of dry conditioner. Like, I'm sure it's not a new thing, but I'm usually pretty late to the trends. So, I hadn't heard of dry conditioner yet, but I'm actually really, really impressed with dry conditioner. So I don't like to use this whenever I have my hair curl just because it kind of makes the curls fall out, but whenever I have the my hair straight, I love using this. So you just kind of spray it about, I would say like from here down, and it just really kind of adds some shine to your hair and makes it super, super soft, which I really, really love. The last favorite that I have for you guys is a nail polish favorite, and this is from OPI, and this is in the shade Bubble Bath, which I know everybody uses Bubble Bath, and I'm kind of late to the Bubble Bath trend, but I love this color. It's just a really pretty kind of pale pink color. And I've been doing my nails at home. I've been doing um, the like nail press on nail tips. And I get the Kiss brand, which is amazing. Alrighty guys, so that is it for my June favorites. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, please make sure that you subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you know exactly when I upload a new video. You get a notification sent straight to your phone, which is super, super cool. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys in my next video.